The question here is to evaluate or find the value of the sum given here, which is 5 power n plus 6 power n upon 7 power n. Let's understand a bit on geometric series before solving this. Let's take a geometric series which is given by 1 by 3, which is 0 0.3 recurring to the power 1 plus 0 0.333 to the power 2 plus 0 0.333 to the power 3 and so on. If we have to find the sum of this geometric series, then there is a condition which we can follow. Let's first find the ratio between the terms before we look at the summation. If we divide the second term by the first term, we get a value 0 0.333. If we divide the third term by the previous term, second term, we again get 0 0.333. So this is the ratio denoted by R of the geometric series. For a geometric series, if the value of R is less than 1, then the sum of the geometric series is given by the first term which is denoted by A upon 1 minus the ratio R. So in this case, the first term, if we have to evaluate this from n equals 0 to infinity, then the first term is nothing but 0 0.333, which is 1 by 3 in fractional terms. So 1 by 3 is the first term upon 1 minus r, the ratio is also 1 by 3. So this is 1 by 3 upon 2 by 3. So 1 by 3 upon 2 by 3, which is 1 by 3 times 3 by 2, which is half. 1 by 2 is the sum of this geometric series. Now let, let's use this to evaluate the question given here. Let's split this into two series. Let's take this as sum of n equals 0 to infinity, 5 to the power n by se, upon 7 to the power n plus sum n equals 0 to infinity, 6 power n upon 7 power n. Just split this into two fractions to keep it simple here. And if we take the first term here, the ratio is 5 by 7. If, because if we can write, rewrite this as n equals 0 to infinity, pi upon 7 whole power n plus sigma n equals 0 to infinity, 6 upon 7 whole power n. Then if we substitute a value of 0 for n, we get the first term, anything to the power of 0 is 1. So a in this case is 1. Similarly for the second term, a is 1 and anything to the power of 0 is 1. So the first term will be 1. When we substitute 2 for the value of n here, we get a different value. But then we can also see that the ratio will be 5 upon 7 because the second term will be 5 upon 7 to the power 2, 5 upon 7 whole to the power 2. That when divided by 5 upon 7 will give you 5 upon 7. Similarly, the ratio here is 6 upon 7. Then using this formula here, the sum is a by 1 minus r because both the values of r, if you see here, is less than 1. Both the values are less than 1. This is 5 upon 7 is less than 1, 6 upon 7 is less than 1. So the sum here will be first term upon 1 minus 5 by 7. Here the sum will be 1 upon 1 minus 6 upon 7. When we evaluate this, we will get 1 upon 7 minus 5, 2 by 7 and this would become 1 upon 1 by 7. So, let me write this here. This would become 7 upon 2 and this term would become 7. So, when we add these two terms, we get the sum of this complete series here. 7 plus 3 and a half, which is 10 and a half. So the value of this entire, when we evaluate this entire sum, the answer is 10, 1 by 2.